So for the last 35 years, uh, I have been uh, a, a minister, as I said. This one morning, and I was supposed to be skiing in Ellicottville, but I was so depressed that I knew I couldn't ski. Oh. And so, uh, well, not that I could ski even if I was. <laughs> Because I was really pathetic at skiing. Anyway. Well, you were uh, going to give it a try. Yeah, well, I was going to have a try. And have a... What's your next big project that you're working on? Well, <laughs> uh, I've got a 10-year, okay, so I'm 70. Yeah. And I've got a 10-year plan about uh, getting on significant stages to take this message that unconditional love for others uh, is, is, very, uh, is really a smart thing to do. Mm -hmm. So it's an uh, intense What is it that you would say is uh, bringing you joy in working out of your home and still working in your yeah. profession? Well, I have never lost the passion for my business, for my mm -hmm. profession. I always uh, want to expand. I always want to know what the trend is. I just thrive helping people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when the people are happy, the um, my business is called Haircuts and Wheels, and uh, we provide mobile hair service for seniors in their own homes, and we also manage retirement home salons. Tell us uh, what brings you the most joy in, as an entrepreneur? Definitely creating something and making a difference in people's lives. Mm -hmm. My business is video marketing, actually. Ah. <laughs> I really love that you do this. I'm excited. Uh, as a woman entrepreneur, what brings you the most joy? I, I think with women in particular, we often get in our own way and there is often a confidence issue. And so when I can hit on either of those three things, the commitment, the courage, or the confidence, that's what lights me up. So when you get on